there was so little information about me. August 15th was my first work day at the Gerbera Garden. I had come here for the first time with that group of kids, and the explosion occurred two hours later. Did you bring it? I did. Hold on while I replace it. Thoughts still messed up? No. Everything's fine. Then it helped. For now. We'll see if it lasts. How long will your charge last? About two weeks, maybe less. Say, know what I found? The correspondence of that operator, Mark, with one of his colleagues. There are some strange tidbits here. Here. To be honest, it doesn't really interest me. Wait, this is important. It's about your parents. What? Your parents. And me as well. Here, listen. It's a work correspondence. They're talking about research into memory transfer between people using telepathy. Telepathy? That's what it says here. They're discussing telepathy and also mentions some kind of side effect. They're what is it? Well, if my understanding is correct, it's a sensation. A strange sensation experienced when one transmits one's memory. And what of it? Mark writes that at one time he was very interested in the matter, studying MPR Zero thoroughly after that incident with Ida. That incident? We must have been acquainted. Even though I remember nothing about Mark or any unusual effects, and I cannot imagine what incident he's referring to. And what about my parents? That's here, too. He recalls working at a research station before the garden was constructed. There weren't many people around in those days. His circle of contacts was limited to several work colleagues and his Mongolian friends. He writes, It's the family living in a yurt not far from the landing platform. That's your family, isn't it? Sounds like it. Where are your parents now? They died long ago. Why? They could have probably answered many of our questions. Maybe Mark even told them about me. Are you all right? Yes, maybe. Maybe he told them. Ida, is everything fine? Everything fine is an ordinary word. Just a note. Like the weather, chilly or warm. But we were looking for other research. Family records. Kind letters. So... What was that just now? More of the same? Yes. Again. Enabish. What? I don't think I have much time. Please, help me untangle this web with Mark. I want you to look through your parents' things. They may have left behind notes, journals. Understood. I will go look for them. Tabaha is here.
Looks like it'll wow. rain. Rain? Today? There'll be rain and thunder, and it'll sweep all profiteers into a ditch. What happened? You got any idea how much the search cost me? No. How much? One and a half. Is that a lot? Well, when in buying Hungor has the internet ever cost one and a half? I'll pay you back. I won't take money from your destitute self. All right. Thanks. The information was paid for and delivered by a personal courier. Very nice. So, what did you find out? Well, first of all, the Gebera Garden was never about entertainment. It was a hospital, I know. But what happened to it? The kids were all patients, yeah? Well, one of them had his container overflow. The passim exploded. That's what happened. That's all? Hold your horses. The story ain't so simple. Think. A person gets his body replaced and blows up minutes later. You might ask, how could they not have checked the container? Turns out they did check, and the container was empty. And yet, 15 minutes later it up and explodes. In other words, the capsule filled and overflowed rapidly. Pretty much instantly, in point of fact. There must have been a reason. Must have been, sure, but it wasn't found. All that's known is that there was a mishap with this particular child's transfer. Turns out, he had been talking to himself while in the booth. That was the mishap. As to why he blew up, that part's unclear. When he came outside, all his stats were normal, and he looked calm. You can see it on the video. He was talking to himself? What about, I wonder? Nobody knows. The conversation wasn't safe. What's the video you mentioned? From the security cameras. You can see everything. Here he is, coming out to the booth in an M-body. Here's the sword acceptance ceremony. Here he is, getting off the stage and heading into the garden. He's walking evenly, takes a seat on the edge of a flower bed, then this part is a bit unclear. What's happening? A child comes up to him as he's sitting. A teeny little thing. Walks up and says something to him. Looks like the kid fancies the sword and is asking for it. What sword? A toy. Just a shiny toy sword. They were given to the kids as presents after their body replacements. Endure a transfer, get a toy. Okay. Okay. So our hero hands over the sword. He's holding on to the hilt, hand extended. The child is trying to take the sword, but can't. Why can't he? Because he's grabbing at the blade, which is holographic. The kiddo's fingers swish right through the air, through the illusion. I see. And then what happens? Then, nothing happens. It's the end of the recording. The explosion is coming up. Here's a grown-up approaching the kids. That's the transfer operator. He walks up to his patient and asks him something. The latter turns around and blows up a second later. And that's it. Doesn't clear up much, I'm afraid. What was his name? Mark, or who are you asking about? The one who blew up? That was Albert. And the other child? The little one? Don't know. He was one of the locals. Not sure how he ended up inside the garden. Uh... Have fun with your little mystery now, but I'm off. See you tomorrow? I don't know. It might be three, four days, maybe a week. We'll see. All right, take care now. Don't get caught in the rain. Hold on, Tabaha. I've got one more question. I told you everything I know about this garden. I got nothing else. It's not about the garden. It's about my parents. I wanted to remember something about my parents. Here. What's this? A key to the drawer of your Grandpa Botchin's bedside table. Where did you get it? Botchin left it to me. He said that if ever you ask me about your parents, to give you this key. So, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know nothing else. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tabaha.
Did you find anything? Not yet. Still looking. Hurry. I'll be disconnected soon. He'll get you back online. We won't. Waking from a coma is impossible. But you can try and shock me with electricity. Why? Will that bring you back to life? It won't, but it might switch me on. If we're lucky, it would give us a few minutes to talk. A few minutes? And then what? And then I will cease to be.
I found it. You and Mark had met once before. Yes, I already know. I remembered it. How? Tell me. It was just after my college entrance exams. My friends and I were hanging out in the city as part of a larger group. Mark was there as well. I hadn't met him before then, nor seen him since. Our paths crossed once, and that was that. So, what happened between you two? Nothing at all. We didn't have a single exchange. We all just sat there with the guys on the cafe terrace chatting about this and that. It was your typical evening. Mark was recalling some kind of special moment. Nothing so special that it stayed with me. Except, maybe, there was this strange sensation. A sensation? Yes. Sometimes I get a peculiar feeling. It somehow resembles anxiety, but only partially. I can't really describe it. It is a sad, pleasant feeling. I had felt it again that particular evening, and... And what? Anabish, I'm about to shut down. Wait. We're not done figuring out your past. And we won't. I am out of time. I received a message. From whom? From my neurochip. Only, the neurochip writes in red letters. I'm being informed that it is self-destructing. Know what I can do? What? Split myself in two. What do you mean? When I shut down, my upper half will split from my legs. Why? I've no clue. That's just how my body works. I can show you. Watch. Wait, don't. Ida, listen. I'm listening. Maybe there's still a way to fix everything. Fix everything? Well, there is a way. If you can travel to the past and pass four digits to Professor Koch, that would fix everything. Fix. Everything.
Are you there? Ida. I'm here. How do you feel? Strange. Strange? In what way? Describe your state. I feel anxious. That's good. Good? Yes. Just don't shut down. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. <laughs>